I know this is not a uh, a baking show, but I do want to discuss the the three main ingredients that makes for the best secret sauce you've ever tasted. So this secret sauce is all about the uh, the AI behind uh, Live Compare's uh, impact analysis, and those three ingredients are test, use objects, use objects, and change objects. So right at the center here are the test IDs. So that's the main focus. Whenever there's a change event, uh, the, the main thing to, to, to focus on are, well, what are the tests that we need to run that will uh, you know, need to be exercised because they involve or, or they invoke the, the changed objects in your SAP environment? And also, are there any testing gaps? In other words, are there things that are impacted that we just don't have the test coverage for? And for the tests that we do find, you know, how can we rank them um, and help prioritize these tests? You know, some folks have have tests out there that they may be uh, really old and they haven't been maintained in a long time. Um, and they don't really cover a lot of steps that you would find in your day to day business scenarios. While other tests, uh, they're modern, they've been they've been updated. Uh, they cover the end to end scenarios uh, very well. So we help rank those tests and, and help you focus on the tests that really need to be executed during a change event. The other core ingredient are used objects. Now this ingredient is, is usually uh, mostly consumed by subject matter experts and, and functional folks. Um, they wanna know their usage footprint. What are they using in SAP? What Fiori apps, what transactions, executable programs, APIs? And when change is introduced, which ones are impacted and for those that are impacted, which ones are really most at risk? And that's what Live Compare will identify, those most at risk executables. And we'll take those and we'll look in your, your testing tool to see, do they have test coverage? If they do, that's considered a hit. And we can automatically run those, those test cases for you inside of its own execution list. But not everyone has 100% uh, test coverage. So there will be gaps. In other words, there'll be most at risk uh, transactions and Fiori apps that are invoking these changes in SAP, but currently you do not have a test for. Um, so I'll, I'll get into a little bit more about those gaps and, and a strategy on how to uh, address them as we go into the, the presentation. And also help rank those most at risk objects by, um, you know, is the object really, really risky in terms of, is it a, um, you know, a direct hit uh, to that, that executable? Is, it, is the executable used a lot? So we, we take into consideration frequency and damage, as we call it, to help even further prioritize those uh, impacted executables. We bring in other attributes to the, the reports that help uh, folks in, um, on, on the functional side to help scope the project. Um, what is the impact to your, to your custom executables? Uh, what application area is impacted the most? Is it financial accounting, HR, uh, materials management? Um, we also bring in depth class information, as well as the executables. How often are you using them in production? What's the execution count? And who are using these executables? And, and what are their attributes? Are, are these accounts uh, dialogue accounts or system accounts in SAP. Now we have um for oh yeah for those gaps, uh, I'd like to, to to mention here because we find uh, these executables that are most at risk and if they don't have test coverage and we can bring in that user information, we can ask that user community how are you using this this executable because we want to create some some test coverage for it uh, maybe for this cycle and as well as for for future. Uh, life cycle events. Now, the other core ingredient are the changing objects. Um, changing objects could be data. So data is one of the most popular change events in SAP for, for local changes. Uh, this would be changes that would influence your configuration and security in SAP. And then we'll give you the type and name of all the other ABAP components in your, your core uh, S4 environment or, or, or ECC. Um, what transport or, or, or change requests did they, were they introduced in? Who, who, in, who introduced it? What was the date? What's the quality of the, the code that you're introducing? How has it changed between, uh, say, production and, and development? 
and give a history if there's been any errors or, or, or issues with that object in production.